they just were like, fuck this. That and, movie uh, is so gorgeous, and every scene has its own game to it. Every scene is its own movie. Yeah. And sure. like the, the 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 scene where he, with the motorcycle in the middle of the desert, what the fuck are we doing there? And I don't know. Look, some the thing with movies like this is sometimes they get you and you're on board, and and when they don't, I'm with that couple. Fuck this. That was me with the Rain of Frogs and the fucking Magnolia. Magnolia. So right. Like, fuck right. It, because it didn't get me, and it's yeah, just. But- it's a very personal thing. But when he's, we're this close on a fucking anamorphic fucking, you know, lens, beautiful shot of his face watching the guy take off on the motorcycle forever and ever and ever. And we're just watching his face change when he's realizing I should, uh, he's not coming back. It's <laughs> such a strange scene. And I was like this, like I couldn't, I, I that, that movie just washed over me. But it's something about this guy as a filmmaker that I, I read something where he said that Magnolia was um, inspired by Revolver, the al- the Beatles album. Mm-hmm. That it was something about making a movie that is like an album. The Revolver was a very unique album for the Beatles or anyone else and that it was it's very hypnotic and it's this strange uh, circular thing and the fucking weird thing where they use those speakers from air raids so that John Lennon would sound like he's praying from a, a rooftop in Mecca and yeah, relax and float downstream and it's so much about the texture and all this stuff but there's a completion to the the revolver has a character every movie belongs I mean every song belongs on revolver and the cover and everything so he kind of fashioned uh, uh, and saw himself more like a DJ mixing the sounds and the images and the characters um, in Magnolia. That's the kind of, so he's, he's a filmmaker who walks away from the literal and the linear. Yes. Uh, but he executes so lushly and he, his actors are so fucking good that he can take you away from your expectations of linear filmmaking uh, he can pull you very far away before you, and you won't get to this David Lynch, who's one of my favorites of all time. But David Lynch, you really have to love the guy to yeah. go through his dreams. Paul keeps it looking like a movie. It's actually what David does too, but Paul does it more for this generation with how uh, much more of a spectrum there is. And in- like I've 